All aboard, it's Jang here with some more Playmobil Series 9 mystery packs to open up. I'm going to get right into it and I'll try to remember to show you the codes on the packs of each of these. This, uh, this is going to have a little bit of an interesting situation here for me because I actually did look at the codes in advance. This one has that 204 in the back of it, but this one felt very different. Maybe it's just packed differently. Nope. Okay. 204. 204. Mm. I wasn't looking at the whole code. I was just looking at the first three numbers. Silly me. So you gotta look at the whole thing. Left and right side. There's this one. See what becomes of this. Okay. So far, only one duplicate of something that I already had. I will be being a little bit more careful with the codes from now on. Try to keep it even with the pink bag ones and the blue bag ones. There's that. This becomes when opened. Cool. And I think that's one that I did not have previously. Here's this one. All right. That one I did have. There they are all put together, and I think I jumped the gun, because that last one I opened I actually didn't have before. It's now very clear now that they're all assembled. In the back is the bride, which also has the bouquet of flowers. You see, had that one before. This is the black ghost, which is actually a pretty cool figure underneath the cloak. I mean, the cloak is fine, but take that off. That is, that is quite cool. I like that. I like that a lot for a Playmo figure, and it has print on the sides of the arms as well, and it is covered in a lot of glow-in-the-dark material. So let me see if this will work with a, a black light that I've got set up here. It's not going to show the, the proper glow, but you just get the idea of where it's going to be glowing. You're not going to see the actual glow effect here, unfortunately, but all the stuff that's showing up bright there is covered with glow-in-the-dark material. It's not very thick, it's just a coating, a thin coating over, over the top, but, uh, and that includes the, the sides of the arms and also the feet and the face and the, the, uh, and the hands. But uh, I think you can see just a little bit of the, the glow effect there. There we go, got the light back on. And then the next one back here, well, this one in the front, you know, the blue ninja with the, the Wings, the flying blue ninja. Got that one before. In the back there, that is one that I had not gotten before. Cat lady. Interesting. Little superhero, super villain kind of thing. And this is actually a, a rubber piece that she has for her head dress in this case. Nothing much to see there. Uh, a fully unlicensed figure, you know, just trying to get you to, to have a little, little something to imagine with. And taking that off, you can see there's no actual hair piece underneath there. This rubber mask part is just attached directly to the head, but that shows you which face is actually used with this one. And she does come with this little cat, which is uh, kind of wrapping itself. It's in the, the pose of wrapping itself around somebody's leg, so you could just kind of see it like that. It's got some pretty spooky eyes on it too. Look at the green, almost glowing green eyes. This one does not glow in the dark, but that's interesting. I personally had not seen this this uh, design of cat before. If anybody is familiar with uh, Playmobil animals out there, <laughs> let me know uh, where that one comes from. Let other viewers know, more importantly. And then the one in the back, that was actually the last one that I opened. I'm going to save this guy for last. The last one that I opened, this is a flight attendant. And uh, yeah, definitely did not have that one before. This is a nice one. Nicely put together, nice color scheme, very professional looking. I like the, the contrast, the color contrast with the, the golden hair color. I think that was a good choice. It goes, it's, it's kind of a nice contrast against the, the red accents here. And I appreciate there's a little bit of red you know, printed along the side. Nice uh, shaped shoes there. And does come with this bit of, of uh, travel 
luggage with the wheels on it and that can open up and put very small things inside of there. This last one is interesting. Very interesting. I didn't see this coming. And based on just looking at it initially, I would say, what is that? Is that like a Imperial German soldier? No. Police officer? Maybe jailer. I would say that this is a 19th century German jailer, like somebody who would work at a jail, because why else would he have keys there? He doesn't have handcuffs, so those keys must be to a cell. But from the, uh, what is the name of the pick, 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 pickle halba? Picklehaube, I think. Picklehaube. Uh, I know I'm pronouncing it terribly, but uh, the design of the, the the helmet, the headgear there is is distinctly German. It could be Prussian, but started out just pure German. Uh, I don't know all the, the history all that well, but I think that's generally what this is. Not a soldier, but a, a police officer or, or somebody who works as a correctional officer. Has the the uh, holster, <laughs> no, not, it's not a sheath, it's just a, a holder for the the sidearm there, which is just a sword, which is why I think that this is more of a civilian service officer. And uh, it's got the, uh, I guess, kind of, kind of pauldrons? No, epaulet, no, yeah, more epaulet, I would say. Epaulet, having trouble with this. I'm not a big historian, obviously, but, I think I figured out basically what this is from, from just looking at the, the pieces of it. A very interesting historical character and, and obscure. Just uh, like I said, just not expected at all. So I did get a bunch of new stuff here. I'm very happy about that. Uh, only two duplicates, two things that I had not gotten before. And where is the, the cloak for the black ghost guy? There we go. So I'm pretty happy with this, this opening, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.